Hello everyone, and yeah, so today I'm gonna look about a few little problems, problems that actually only I had, and well, I really couldn't really until now find solutions for that, but still, these would be at least good to know that they are here and might happen. So the first problem, let's go about players and shutting down. If a player is still in a server and he shuts down, there can be the problem that the server just breaks in a way and doesn't turn on again. What you can do then? That's the problem. What you have to do always is a backup. So I would do an automatic backup. And yeah, it's the same thing with broad world backups, so just parallel, so shutting tongues or doing a world backup, just make sure that there are no players, because it can really break the server, at least my server. I'm already ta al always talking for my server. What you have to go to the data, and then you actually have to copy everything from the server. That was the only thing that worked for me, sadly because it was like 10 gigabytes. Well, what you have to do is to do is go to random gen and then in there you will have all the data from your server. Well, the problem is here that I need to take all the like the map, the player and the regions like the whole data from here. I have to take this to my PC. So really load it to my PC and then I have to I had to delete the server so here it is delete it restart the server again and then put all the information back again so it really took an hour or so it was really exhausting problem is I still couldn't figure out a fix against that the same thing, in a way, happened, happens when I do a Steam update. It just then doesn't work anymore. And so I think the best thing is always just to shut down the server. So be sure there are no players. Then shut down the server and then really do everything you need to do. I think that's really the best way to do it. Then, about the online map. If you do, like, restart something or so, or, well, no, rather, you have a new version, and you don't see the map, then you should just uninstall this one and reinstall it. That's then unlock. So yeah, this can help to fix it. If it doesn't, then it's just not up to date yet. Happens when a new version comes out. All right. So these were now just a few problems. And well, rather just aesthetically. About the, well, deleting the world maybe. If I delete a world, it's like the end solution <laughs> in a way, because then everything's going to be deleted and the server is fresh. So always do that when a new server is on. Another problem that I encountered is that sometimes the CPU won't run. So there was like 0% or 0 or 0 slots. What you can do is restart a few times. It doesn't work. Then, yeah, so up to now, almost all the time it was in connection to world backup or Steam update. And a play was still inside. So, a few things what you can do. It's either you delete the ID of the player the good thing is that if you go into, uh, let's go back to random gen, 
to V friends to player you can set it to the newest one so to not to the size but when it was created so the date so let's see um, this one just at the bottom was created the 3rd to 6th 2019 so very early what you can do is like reverse it in FileZilla and see the newest one so who was the lastest one that joined the server or was in the server and what you have to do is delete that character and then it's like w away from the server, not existing anymore and then sometimes just restart it and it works what you also can do if it's maybe a region problem you can see from the online map where he was the last time and then you have to delete the regions which I explained in the last episode so uh, you have to delete the region and also the player if this doesn't work you have to make a steam update try that always look that it's on stop the server if it doesn't work then it's yeah sadly or at least on my case it's always the problem that again I'll have to take all the data from the server or I can then still do a backup actually that's interesting or also good so just do a backup that's eventually easier and faster delete the world put the data from the backup which you should have just in a folder like that no that's just the crash here is backups exactly this my is always random gen the name you see that all the data that is actually now on random gen so it's everything the same so you have to put all this data back again to random gen and it's fine if backup doesn't work you have to do it the hard way so take everything from the random gen to your PC and put it again on it that's actually very, very interesting for me that it doesn't work the server didn't start but I just took the data deleted the world put the data back in really the same data and it worked again it's um, also frustrating because it took an hour but yet yeah, you can do it both ways. I recommend doing first like with the backup because it's like faster. So yeah, this is another like problem that I have when also just updating that I have to replace every file. So yeah, actually these were almost all the problems to be honest. Other problems I can't think at the moment. If there are, I might do another video about it. But yeah, just to say it again, if there's like 0% and CPU, try at least to restart a few times. Try to do a Steam update and restart a few times. If this, everything doesn't work, then like you have almost to delete the world except I should have said before but anyway maybe you have installed a mod or something like that so try also to delete the mods because they can also corrupt your server and the most important thing is always looking at the output log so let's just stream the file it's very important okay that's interesting anyway you have to download it and then you can always see when the server starts at the beginning of the log what happened because there's an um, written this mod caused a problem and so the server stopped like shutting on going on so before you do something like deleting the world or so also check the log
or important. All right. So these were just a few problems. I know it is just like three, but still they were the most frustrating ones, and that's why I'm talking about them, because I can remember them. And the last time I played it was like, or I had this problem like was one year ago, Alpha 16 at the beginning. But yeah, I hated these. <laughs> All right, so have a nice day and. Maybe it helped. I hope so, at least.